Hi Larry, Shane Adair, how are you? Uh, mate, I'm just ringing around the Marine Intervention Program. I've got another one starting in two weeks' time, um, going for five weeks. I'm trying to get hold of some more kids that I need to get hold of so, some interviews to try and um, fill the course up. I've got three spare spots at the moment. Just about everyone here is going to find someone on this program that you don't like. That's just human nature, that's the way it is. And part of this whole idea of the course is teach you guys how to work with each other because you're going to spend the rest of your life working with people that you don't necessarily like. The certificates and things you get at the end of the course will A, help you get further into TAFE, B, they will help you get a job in the industry. You can go anywhere in the country with these tickets. You all know you've got to be here for 9 o'clock in the morning. We start at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so it doesn't mean you rock up at 5 past 9 or 10 past or quarter past or half past 9. Most of the 12 students we take have various problems in their lives and we throw in a couple who are actually interested in pursuing maritime work. Hopefully peer pressure will bring the others up to their level of commitment. What do you think the purpose of those springs are? Keep the boat straight. Keep it straight? Or to keep it from going down. Always go up facing the ladder. Plenty of things to hang on to. A lot of people have attempted to come down backwards like that. OK, but there's not much grip, and if you slip off that, then you go bounce, bounce, bounce on your bum bone, and again, that hurts, so think safety, all right? I know it's only the second week, start of the second week, but you're going to order ideas whether you want to carry on with something like this afterwards, or what? Yeah, I'm going to carry on with the six-month course. Oh, OK, so the certificate two that follows this one? Yeah, cool. What about at home? They reckon it's OK? Or? Yeah, parents think it's good for me. Yeah? Got any worries? No. Cool. Go fishing. Right, thanks. They don't know it, but in learning about bait types and size limits, they're starting to consider the points of view of others and the consequences of their actions. Some fish are worth keeping, and some aren't. Come on, Crystal. Make sure the water's clear, you get your position, then you step off. You'll be fine. Is it cold? Yes, it's cold. Get in. What do you reckon the advantages of the um, hub lock? They're all together, you make a much better target from, uh, for an aerial search. You will find that that pool of water in the middle will start to get a little bit warmer than outside here. So if, in, if one of your crew mates or your shipmates is particularly cold, or indeed injured, you can put them in the middle and they can benefit from that. Everything they're taught has a purpose. They don't study things just to keep busy. OK, start getting into the raft. Oh, no. Help each other, remember? OK, everybody back in the water. Let's go. Well, what I saw then was just a whole bunch of people scrambling to get into the raft as if it was a big joke. You might think it's a joke because this is just, a, this is just an exercise, but it's for your benefit. Okay, one day it might happen to you in real life and you'll really want to know what to do and do it right. Your life will depend on it. It's cold, mate. You get your jacket off back over there, mate. You have to do a bowline. Yeah, I can do that. If you cannot bowline. tie a bowline, then you might as well not get in a boat. It's yeah. the most used knot you will ever use. Through there. Back, back around that part. Back around? Yep. Back yeah. through there. Through that little part there. Now pull this end. There, that's a bowline. All those years of maritime work that I did myself are coming in handy. Your load's on it, it can't come undone. Some of the students go back to high school, others move on to TAFE, either to do maritime studies or something completely different. This course has a 90% success rate. What I love is seeing the students find focus and direction. Everyone hates this part of the course, they think it's slave labour. Oh well, they're going to enjoy the flares next week. Whether it's maths or literacy skills, it all relates to maritime work and general employment scenarios. Origami teaches them spatial awareness. There's your picture. You follow the picture. If it doesn't look like the picture, you haven't got it right, OK? That's the picture. Turn yours around a sec. Look at Ben's. If I was giving you a 10 out of 10, I would give you a 10 out of 10. 
A base man had just turned off the lights in the store when a man appeared in the middle of the money. He's a businessman and that's his owner. And he ran away? True? Mm. No, he's better away. False. This comprehension exercise teaches them to process facts accurately and not to assume information. Sounds good, Troy. A necessary skill when you're planning a voyage. Now today is all about teamwork, all of it. You, you guys listen to what Gary told you this morning? Yeah. yeah. What did he say about your distances? How far apart? Five, five, five boat lengths. lengths. Five boat lengths. And what was it you got to do today that you weren't too flash out the other day? Anchoring. Oh, <laughs> Graduation day. I have to get in uniform for this. This is the last day of the course. Uh, you got any idea what you're going to be doing afterwards? Yeah, I'm going to go back and finish year 10 and then come back and do the second course. Any worries I spent five years chasing people and locking them up. Then some time in the country taught me to relate to the community and value preventative policing instead of reactive policing. Later I applied for the school-based position where I can teach young people to work as a team while still respecting their individuality. Crystal. Congratulations. David. Girl, congratulations. Now for the Ducks and the best all-rounder who um, just through the whole course with his efforts and particularly um, the overnight crews is you, Aaron. And there's a torch inside me, mate. Good on you, Aaron. All the best.